Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on our 2005 Dodge Grand Caravan. And uh, this one has the 3.8 liter V6 in it. And uh, I'm, all I'm going to be doing today is just replacing the spark plugs. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it's got a little hesitation, a little miss in it. And uh, these plugs have over 60, 70,000 miles on them. I'm not sure how long they should last, but um, I pulled some of them out. Uh, a little while back and uh, they were about 20 thousandths over uh, the the rated spec or what I had uh, gapped them to back when I put them in a long time ago now and uh, so anyways so let's get in here I'll show you how easy this is it's not too hard um, you can do it with some pretty simple tools so let's get started so here's the front of the engine, the one closest to the uh, radiator here. And I've got three spark plugs along here. You can see this one's broken. I actually broke this one when I was taking it out uh, to, to check everything. But, you know, it happens. Be careful. Um, what happened was the, um, I think the, the spark plug socket I was using kind of torqued a little bit when I was trying to loosen it up. And it actually, uh, it just snapped that, that off right there. And uh, so that's, that's okay. No big deal. Spark plugs aren't that expensive. I should have checked or I should have had new ones on hand before I got started. And speaking of that, here's the part number uh, for for my vehicle. So uh, there you go with that. Um, I would double check your year, make and model uh, to make sure you get the right ones. So let's get started here. What we're going to need is a 5 8 spark plug socket and a uh, 6 inch extension to get these out of here. So we'll go ahead and start with this front plug here and uh, we'll get the wire out of the way and uh, or this first plug and we've got our 5 8 and I don't know if you know what a spark plug socket is but this is a spark plug socket uh, it has this kind of shape to it and there's a rubber a rubber insert in there that uh, helps you grip on to the white part of the spark plug so it comes on out with it. So we're just gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put this in Lefty Lucy and kind of get down on there. That one was really tight, um, but I didn't remove that one yet. Oh, broke that one off too. So we better be careful pulling these out, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna throw them away anyways, but. Maybe it's a spark plug socket. Maybe I'll change and uh, try a 5 8 deep well so we don't uh, tear up any more in case I break one of the new ones, I can at least get it running, right? So we're just threading this out. These things are long-winded. There we go. Got it. So there, you can see it snapped off. And you can kind of see it uh, picked up some gunk when I pulled it out of there. I'm just going to visually verify that the new plugs look like the old plugs, and they do. So you can kind of see the difference in the gap there. Uh, this one was significantly worn down compared to this one. First thing we're going to do, we're going to check the gap on this here. It should be about 50 thousandths, and this is at like 48. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is pry up a little bit on this, just a little bit. You know, that's exaggerated, obviously. But uh, I'm just going to pry up just a little bit and slide it back on there, and that's right at 50 right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some, uh, this is high temp anti-seize from a oxygen sensor that I had extra. I've got a, a large tube in there that I used and I thought I just might as well go ahead and use this stuff up. So we're just going to put a light coating on the very tip there and kind of spread it around a little bit and it'll, it'll get in the rest of the threads as it, as it threads in. I'm going to start these by hand. Trying not to uh, get it too out of uh, square with where the hole is. There we go. So I can kind of feel by hand that it started. And now I can go ahead and put the socket on there. I went ahead and got a regular deep well socket. Let's try that out because I really don't want to break these new ones. Yeah, there we go. That's got a little bit of wiggle room in there. I'm just using the extension to thread this in by hand. I've almost got this tightened up, you know, with this ratchet. It's, it's at least snugged up. 
So what I'm going to do is use this torque wrench, and we need to have it at 20 foot-pounds, which um, this is an inch torque wrench. So what I need to do is uh, run this up to 240 inch-pounds, and that is 20 foot-pounds. All right, we've got our 240 inch-pounds on there, and uh, we've got it going the right direction. So now all we're going to do is just tighten this down until we hear it click. Just like that. I'm going to double check. Just like that. That's perfect. Before I put the boot back on, I like to go ahead and put a little bit of this dielectric grease in here. And, uh, so I got a little bit that's coming out the side there. But nonetheless, you put a little bit in there. And what that's going to do is help keep the water from getting down in the spark plug area here between the boot and the spark plug. And it'll be a lot easier to get these boots off in the future. So as I do the spark plugs, uh, I usually put the wires back on. These were all different lengths, and it was pretty hard to mess this up. But it is worth uh, noting which one goes where. So for these plugs in the back, there's three of them opposite of, of the three that were up here, right? Uh, so these are all at an angle facing back this way. All three of them are facing back. So that makes it a little bit easier to get it from kind of this angle that, that I'm working from, from this power steering pump side. I'm going to pull the boot off of here. There we go. Got that off. So I'm just going to do that one out. And uh, I've got my ratchet all set up here. I've got a six inch extension. Let's see if that gets in there. Might have to pull the extension off and then put the ratchet on later. Let's see what we got here. So I'm just feeling back behind here. I can't really see. And it looks like I'll be able to get my ratchet on there. Hopefully these aren't as tight as the uh, front ones were. Alright, so I'm on the extension. It looks like I can swing the ratchet like that. Perfect. That one came right out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. Same thing we did with the fronts, got a little NECs on there, and I got the plug. So I'm just going to hand thread this back in the hole here, Let's see if we can get it in there. Alright, I got it started in there, I'm just threading it in by hand, and I'll torque it down. So, let's go ahead and get these other two out so I can show you what, uh, what extensions and swivels and whatever you're going to need for that. Alright, I'm on this, this front one here. I figured I'd go ahead and try that one since it seemed like it might be the hardest. Uh, but all I needed was this uh, six inch extension and and this flex head ratchet. What I'm gonna do is put all the links down below in the, uh, in the description so you can see what I'm using. This is a gear wrench, by the way, so low profile, very nice. Uh, so yeah, check out those links below and uh, you'll see, see all the tools I've been using. All right, just threading this uh, very far passenger side plug in and uh, just doing that by hand to make sure it doesn't get cross threaded at all. And uh, you just kind of have to remember where the old one came out of. Uh, it's really the only way I can kind of explain it. Um, kind of poke around in there a little bit with your finger and get it started. So there we go. I got it started. So now I'm going to run it up with the... Uh, torque wrench and, and tighten it down all right it looks like uh, to get the full length there so I, I don't have a swivel head on my torque wrench obviously so I, what I did is I put in this short I think it's called a one inch extension uh, but you can see how short that is on this six inch and that what that did is bring the the handle up above the intake plenum here so I was able to get enough enough turn on the handle to get it torqued down properly so on this middle plug, it looks like that 6 inch extension with the short 1 inch gave me the perfect, uh, you know, height to get my ratchet to move easily to get this sock, or to get this spark plug out. So let's go ahead and get this plug out and get the last one in. Got our last plug going in here. Let's go ahead and get that threaded down in there. It looks like tightening up this last one in the middle here. We're just going to need the 6 inch extension and the socket that's on there. There we go. And that was perfect. And the last plug boot has some 
silicone grease in there and we're just going to find the end of the plug and push it down on there until it clicks in double check all the rest of these they're all pushed in and clicked yep so we're good to go all right let's start her up and see what she sounds like before i get started i like to go ahead and remove all of the tools that I had laying around and everything and double check that I didn't unplug. Oh, there you go. See, I found something right there. I unplugged this uh, vacuum booster line. That'd make it kind of run a little rough, wouldn't it? So let's go ahead and make sure we get that plugged back in. And we're just making sure we didn't accidentally unplug anything or leave a spark plug wire off. We didn't knock any hoses off or anything. And I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get it started up. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And it's just that easy, right? Uh, you guys can do this. I know you can. So, yeah, keep an eye out below there for the description uh, for all the parts and tools that I used. I'll put links down there. And if you have any questions, please comment. I will uh, totally answer. If you look at any of my other videos, um, you'll see that I, I, I think I answer every comment that I get for now. Uh, but, yeah, if you have any questions, I'd love to help out. And... Um, there you go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.